I believe we have the holy grail here. That's what I'm calling it. It's a 1969 El Camino, and it is the ultimate. It has a 396, 375 horsepower motor, the L78. That's the biggest motor you could get. It has a four-speed transmission. It is body off frame restored. Numbers match throughout. Also has some other rare goodies, a tilt wheel, power windows. And you know what really makes this special? It's documented. This car was born this way, according to this build sheet. Uh, right here, 375 horse, M24 speed, tilt wheel, sport steering wheel, power steering, the G70 tires. Uh, it has the light package, has the factory tack and gauges, um, do, 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 SS396, power brakes, power disc brakes, vinyl roof, power windows. That's what I was looking for. The, it was orange. Here's the VIN number. Here's the rear end number. Here's the engine number. It's all on here, and it all matches throughout the car. Can you think of a better 69 El Camino than this right here? Go to volocars.com. That's where you'll see over 200 fantastic collector cars for sale. Price tag and a monthly payment is listed with each car. I genuinely believe that I've priced this very fairly. It's one of those cars, if you're patient and you wait for the right guy or the right collector, you probably get 25 to 50 grand more than what I'm asking for it. But right now, why don't you join me and let's go for a spin. The fit and finish is outstanding. This body is straight. It lines up square and flush. All straight, clean panels, absolutely straight. The lines up beautifully smooth, even underneath. I'm feeling under the rocker panel, and it's smooth and clean. All spot on the money. Shuts like new. Clean, clean body. No rust. I haven't seen an issue yet with the body. All clean, nice, beautiful metal. Tailgate's in excellent shape. Shuts nice, clean, no rust, all nice clean metal. This side looks just as good, clean, rust-free, no bumps, no bubbles, outstanding metal. Of course, it has the SS hood because it is an SS. See so how this one shuts like new. So it's repainted, Hugger Orange, 19, uh, or code 72. That's on the cowl tag. That's what's on the build sheet. First impression, it's perfect. There's a few little flaws. Here's a couple chips, probably from the seat belt or something. Here's one that's touched up down at the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> so I've seen a couple little chips, I think, up at the front. Right here on the inside edge, there's, there's two chips right there. So you'll go around and you'll find a handful full of minor, minor flaws, but it is polished smooth and glossy. Now up front, the grill, the emblem, the bezels, the bumper, the lenses, all that looks at least like a 9 out of 10. It's beautiful. The moldings, the emblems, the correct antenna, all the trim. This has all been replaced, all shiny and straight. Uh, the rubber they left original. Got some cracks in it. It surprises, surprises me a little bit. The fuzzy window strips look new. Now, this has the original door edge guard. It's metal. It's not plastic, so that's an original uh, option. Here's the other little chip uh, that I noticed earlier. The stripe. It's a decal stripe. It's an SS uh, stripe. That's the correct one for the El Camino. Tail lights, bumper, all the trim around the bed opening. This is all either new or it's restored. It all looks great. The blacked out SS big block tail panel, it's like a satin black. That's the way it's supposed to be. Rear window looks like it could be original. It's super clear, but there's a couple light scratches in it. The windshield, I'm sure, has been replaced. Vinyl top is excellent. That's new. There's no bumps under it. It's not curling or peeling or anything like that. Uh, and like I said earlier, sitting on the 14-inch SS wheels, they're in excellent shape. They're either new or they're restored, and it has uh, reproduction wide oval Firestone tires. Now let's open it up and show you that motor, too. Okay, like I said earlier, the tailgate 
opens nice. The bottom edge is rust free. It does have the rubber uh, filler flap, I guess I'll call it. So inside the bed is all nice clean metal. You can see that it was all repainted. There's some like water spots kind of etched onto the surface. Probably come out with a buffer, but it's all nice clean painted and the trim around the opening is all nice and shiny too. Yeah, the L78 was the mightiest motor you could get even in a Chevelle unless you special ordered a 427, which I've never seen in an El Camino. That's a solid lifter, big port. Oh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Door jams are slick. The bottom of the doors are clean. Uh, the weather strips are replaced. New door panels, armrest. Uh, no window cranks. You see that? The power window switches. Not too many El Caminos had that. All of this looks to be in excellent shape. The bezel, the dash pad, the knobs. Uh, speedometer looks good. Has a clock hidden in there. Here's the tachometer with the gauges. That's a 6500 red line. That's correct for a 375 horse car. A heater control panel. All this looks really nice. I looked at our service ticket. I guess we installed the new retro stereo and speakers up in the dash. I guess there was no radio when we bought it. Glove box liner's nice. Here's the manual for the radio. Kick panels and knobs and lights all look real good. Carpet's real nice. Now this is the correct uh, bezel and boot with the bench seat shifter. It uh, says Muncie on it, so that's the original Muncie shifter. It's got all the seat belts, all the upholstery's real nice. Behind the seat, uh, you can't see it, but there's a, a polyglass spare and the jack assembly. It's all here. It's all everything back here is finished and painted real nice. Dome light works. Headliner and visors were replaced. Part of the light group, it has the light underneath the mirror. I don't think that's working. I don't know if you have to have the lights on, but that's part of the light group. And then last but not least, tilt column with the rosewood deluxe wheel. So it's got some neat surprises for an El Camino. Try and find a 375 horse four speed. I've been searching the internet for a week and then find one with matching numbers and a build sheet. Build sheet's what made it for me. So I was telling you a little bit about the motor earlier. I mean, they're high compression, they're solid lifters, has the big rectangular port heads and that's designated by that little bump right there. And then it has the uh, matched GM aluminum intake that it would have come with. And underneath the air cleaner is a correct uh, Holly dual feed carburetor with the correct fuel line. Distributor, I didn't check numbers, but I mean it's a stock type distributor. Even has reproduction, dated spark plug wires, they're all run neatly. Correct valve cover, GM hose right here. And then you might be asking, well, what's this thing here? That's the smog equipment. Uh, that went right in the garbage can when people bought these new but this one has the smog equipment. Uh, whether someone put it back on there, I, I don't know, but it has it now. That would make it correct. Uh, correct ribbed heater hoses run properly. Uh, spring clamp battery cables. The right radiator. I think it's a four-row radiator. It's what these would have had. Clean, painted. Deep groove pulleys. It's a solid lifter engine, so it could rev higher. At high RPMs, you don't want belts flying off, so they countersunk the belts a little deeper. Uh, squirters are hooked up. All the steering looks like new. Power brakes with a cadmium-plated booster. Wiper motors clean. Uh, here's part of the light package. Hood insulation. Yeah, everything's really nice, clean, tidy, correct, proper. Now Caleb's going to take you for a drive. You better not miss a gear and damage this one.
All right, so we are in the 69 El Camino. I don't know if it gets more American than this. A hugger orange sauce El Camino with a 396 and a four speed in it. But we're taking this thing around the block, showing you how she drives. So far, feels pretty good. You know, it's gonna drive more like original, you know, this car is more original, so it's gonna drive like a classic car. Shifts nicely through the gears. Steering feels pretty good on it. Cruising over the bumps, they don't feel too bad. Power steering's nice, power brakes work. Sounds like the clutch pedal. It's a little squeaky, might just need a little grease down there, no big deal. Power steering's flawless on this thing. Turn signal lights up. Let's, whoop, let's see if she cancels. Let's see what this baby's got. Oh yeah. Chirp second. Flying through the gears. Now this is a muscle car. Sixty miles an hour, no problem, guys. We're cruising, drive straight as an arrow. This is what you expect. Bolo quality right here. I got the heat ripping. It's a little chilly out today, so got the heat cranked. The retro radio works. It sounds like we got some Christmas music on. It's a little early for that. Thanksgiving's not up yet. Horn works on it. And the wipers. Yeah, here you have one of the rarest El Caminos on the market. And she's ready for a new owner. Get in and drive. That's our motto. That's our goal. Yeah, this thing just wants to take off, guys. This is a sweet car. Very fun to drive. We already got a couple thumbs up, too, while we were driving. So there you have it. 69 SS El Camino. So as I said earlier, this was a body off frame restoration and it was really a quality job. It's been done for some time. So there's a little like surface haze on the exhaust. It's not rotten, but it's not shiny silver anymore. But uh, don't, don't get me wrong. This is an outstanding uh, restoration. It still looks very fresh. Um, go to, uh, no, let's look at the underneath. It's all clean metal, smooth, painted real nice, no rust. All the suspension and steering was rebuilt, and it's all stock. It's not uh, QA1 or nothing like that. It's all put back exactly as stock. Even the exhaust is stock. You know, the El Caminos, I'm 99% certain that's just the way they came out behind the tire. There were no chrome SS tips or anything like that on there. Disc brakes in front, just like the Chevelle, drum and, bra and back. All that was replaced, all the lines. E-brake is hooked up. Fuel system was replaced when they restored the car. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's super nice and clean. It has the proper uh, you know, fuel pump and starter. Um, the VIN number matching, properly dated and coded. Muncie M20 <coughs> four-speed, <coughs> excuse me. And that's correct per the build sheet as well. Uh, and back is the original 12-volt rear end dated to this car with 355 gears. So this is a rare collector piece. Um, there's not another one. It's the ultimate 69 El Camino. The right guy would probably pay north of 150 for this car. I'm not asking anywhere near that. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.